Coywire joins me now because he sat down with reality star Kim Zolciak. She's a social media queen, as we know. She's a wife to an Atlanta Falcons defensive end, Croy Bierman, and a mother to six kids. Of course, her show, Don't Be Tardy, premieres tonight mm -hmm. on Bravo at 10 p.m. But we wanted to find out how she juggles fa fame and her family. Mm -hmm. So you got to chat with her for quite a bit. I did. You know, I got to know Kim through Croy, who I was teammates with for three years on the Falcons, a hardworking, humble guy out of a small town in Montana. Drove a Honda Accord his rookie <laughs> year, right? Great success story now going into eight season in the NFL. Well, Kim has had a successful career as well. One of Bravo's most accomplished reality stars. Sat down to talk with her about her career. And it hasn't all been rosy. I always wanted to be famous, always, my whole life. I mean, you can look at a journal that I wrote when I was 12, and it was like, I can't wait to have my own show by the time I'm 30. I was 29 when I started on Housewives. Where's my wine? It's very interesting when you um, embark on something in television, because a lot of people want it, but they don't realize what comes with it, you know? I mean, your whole life is scrutinized, and a lot of people think it's scripted and that the, the producers kind of orchestrate this stuff, but for me on Housewives of Atlanta, it it is what it is, like it was what it was. Um, a lot of kind of anger, aggression, violence, stuff that I was never really around. Mm -hmm. um, and it does take a toll on you mentally and emotionally. There were days where I was like, I'm done. Like, you, get out of my face, you hear me? Get out of my face. What was it that almost made you wanna just give it all up? The violence, like I, I mean, you know, Sheree pulling my wig. I did not try to pull it off. I did not want to pull it off. I just wanted to shift it a little bit. Get a f away from me. Wine glass is flying, and it's just insane to me. You hate negativity. Yeah, I do. I never grew up around that. So for me, it was like really harsh. Now here we are in your fourth season of Don't Be Tardy. How, how does that make you feel? I have the best job in like the whole world. I mean, I get paid to film with my family. Does it really get any better than that? I don't think so. I definitely have the dream job, I feel like. So really interesting stuff. I gotta ask though, what's up with the red solo cups? <laughs> that was like all, so I, was all I can focus on. What's the story there? So Kim does not like germs. She drink, uses the cup. She gets rid of it every time she uses one. <laughs> and makes everyone She's, that comes yeah, over drink out of solo that, cup? I, I just wanted to make myself at home. So I <laughs> did what she did. Only water in those solo cups, everyone. Yeah. All right, thanks so much, Gwen. You're welcome. Fans of reality star and social media queen Kim Zolciak, they know all about the ups and downs of her relationships. But did you know that this guy over here had a hand in her meeting her husband, yeah. Atlanta Falcons player? Yeah, Croy Bierman. Bierman. Yeah, so I was supposed to go and shake and bake at a little charity dancing with Atlanta mm -hmm. stars. I couldn't make it, so my workout partner, Croy, went instead. So I sat with Kim. She told me about the bootyful moment Aww. the two first met, but then she also got emotional when talking about the online bullying that she and her kids face almost every day. Watch. I have to take a little bit of credit for the reason you even know Croy, because there was this charity event that they asked me to go and do this kind of dancing with the stars, and something came up last minute. I couldn't go. Well, Croy, my workout partner, my buddy, goes in my place, and he gets to meet you. Yeah. I wasn't even going. I was not going to the event. I told production, so I hung up on him. And I was like, I just told, you know, y'all have kind of your own producer. And I said, I'm not coming. And he's like, you have to come. And I was like, I'm not coming. I hung up the phone, and they called me back. And they're like, Kim, come on. So I literally put a dress on, threw my wig on, and was out the door. Mm. And then he was the first person that came out. And I, that ass was... And like so it was insane. So much junk in the trunk. Oh, there's tight ass. Please, <laughs> can I just be honest with you? I've never in my whole life seen an ass like that. Yeah. We were all sitting at the table. I was like, 10, 10. But if you did not, you know, right. I don't want to say drop out, but if you couldn't attend yeah. the event, then I would have never, never met him. So you can yeah. thank me oh, for I having do. met Croy. Kim Zolciak just slammed the internet trolls who body shamed her daughter on Instagram. I want to show you a picture here. And um, I'm going to show you this. Just tell me, tell me how that makes you feel. What, what do you see when you look at that picture? She's awesome. You're going to make me cry. What do you see? A really good girl. <laughs> that really makes me mad. Mm -hmm. Like really making me mad. Being in the public eye is great, right? I chose this life. This is what I do. My girls are also very 
involved um, in social media and you know all that stuff. But I posted a picture of Ariana, and then she's always like, "Mom, why do they say like I'm fat?" Or and I can tell that Ariana's like, "I'm, I'm not going to eat that cake," and that pisses me off. I have really have worked really hard to instill in my girls' self-esteem and just to really love themselves, love every inch of yourself. And I'm not going to let somebody, some stranger on social media, take that from me. Mm. You know, you know, every mother out there has that mama bear instinct right. of protecting her kids, and she's no different. No, it's, and something that's interesting is people say she does that to herself, and she said that. She said, I chose this mm -hmm. life, but this is a microcosm of something that happens to all of our kids, this online bullying. It's a thing. I think what's important is that Kim is involved with her kids' mm -hmm. lives, and she stands up for them, lets them know that she's on her side. Calling those internet haters mm -hmm. trolls. That's all we can really do, right, Coy? Yeah, Thanks right. so much. You're welcome.